everyone. Welcome back to my channel Success Trailers by Deepthi. In my today's video, we are going to learn some useful English expressions and idioms which you can use in your day-to-day -day life and impress your acquaintances. So let us begin. Now let us begin with the first idiom of the day. The first idiom is to come out of one's shell. Yes, to come out of one's shell. This means that we need not be shy or we have to stop being shy. Now let us look at an example. Annie, when she came at the beginning of the school, she was a bit shy. But at the end of the day, she had to come out of her shell. Yes, out of her shell means not to be shy. Now let us look at the second expression of the day. The second expression is to catch someone's eye. No, it does not mean to actually catch someone's eye. It means to attract someone's attention. Yes, like we can look at a sentence here. While I was going through a store, I found a black beautiful dress in the store. It caught my eye. Yes, it caught my eye means it attracted me. Now let us look at the third expression of the day. This is the expression based on our food or the meal. So the expression is a square meal. Yes, a square meal. It does not actually mean that we need to take a square meal. It means a full meal. That is a balanced meal. Like my doctor advised me to take three times a square meal in a day in order to recover from the diseases. So here the square meal means that we have to take a full and balanced meal. So the third expression is a square meal which means a full balanced meal. Now let us proceed to the fourth idiom of the day which is full steam ahead. Yes, full steam ahead. This isn't related to the train. This actually means to proceed with maximum power and speed. Yes, to proceed with maximum power and speed. Let us take an example. So the example is, I have completed my graduation. Now I'll be beginning with my career with full steam ahead. That is with maximum power and speed. This is the fourth expression, full steam ahead, which means maximum power and speed. Now let us look at another idiom. So the fifth idiom here is face the music. Yes, face the music, which means to confront the difficult situations as well as the unpleasant situations. So let us take an example here. Joe is a notorious boy. That is, Joe is a naughty boy. He has to face the music now. Since the child committed something wrong, now it's time for him to face the difficulties. Now he has to confront it. So this is the idiom here, face the music, which means to confront the difficulty. Now let us look at another expression. The another expression is off the cuff, off the cuff. So the expression off the cuff means something which is done without any planning or preparation. So let us take an example here. I wasn't prepared for anything, but my teacher asked me to give a special assembly for the school. So I can simply say I was off the cuff, but my teachers and my friends appreciated when I gave a special assembly. This is off the cuff, which means anything which is done without any preparation or planning. The seventh expression here is beside the point. Yes, it's a very common expression, but we tend to use this expression very less. So we are going to use this here, beside the point. Yes, this means irrelevant, something which is useless, something which is of no use. That is irrelevant, beside the point. Now we are going to discuss our sentence here. Since the child's answer was completely irrelevant or since the child's answer was beside the point, the teacher had to give him a big zero. So beside the point means something which is irrelevant. Now let us look at the eighth idiom. The eighth idiom is bite off 
more than one can chew. Yes, sometimes we eat the burger more than we can actually take a bite. This expression is similar to this. Okay, bite of more than one can chew. This means we tend to take some more responsibilities and work rather we cannot accomplish all this. So taking more responsibilities than we can accomplish is bite off more than one can chew. Let us take an example. Nancy took all the notebooks but she couldn't complete all of them. She bite more than she can chew. So this expression, me expression means that we have taken more responsibilities and work to us than we can accomplish. The ninth expression is a very common one. So let us look at it. Apple of one's eyes. Yes, the apple of one's eyes means a special person, a very special person. Like we all are the apple of our parents' eyes. Yes, we all are very special to our parents. So the expression apple of one's eyes means being special. Now coming to the last expression of the day, expression number 10. So let us look at this expression. The expression is in a pinch. Yes, chutki bhar, that is in a pinch. So this expression means in an emergency or in a hurry. Like we can take an example here. I am in a hurry. I am in a pinch. I need to submit all these files right now. Please help me out. So we have used the expression here in a pinch which means in a hurry or in an emergency. This was all for today. We have learned a lot many useful idioms and expressions in this video. Try to use all these expressions in your day to day life and impress all the other people. Thank you for watching my video. Do subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye.